Hey, what's up, dudes and lady dudes? Up early this morning. This morning is special because it is the return of the Bod Pod. So this will be the first time since the start of our journey. It has been three months and three weeks since we started. I've been busting my ass, been putting in my time, been eating right. And today is the day that we will get some scientific confirmation of where we're at. I've got some some guesses and some ideas, but uh, today we make it official when I jump back in the bod pod at Discover Strength. So here we go. Before I get ahead of myself, why don't I catch you up on what I've been up to. So since we started this program, Sam and I have sat down once a week to discuss my progress. Hey guys, it's Sunday night. I'm just heading over to Matt's house. Uh, we're going to do a little weekly check-in, uh, accountability meeting. See how things are going. See, uh, we'll check. See what his body weight was this morning. See how see how he's progressing there. Matt started on July nineteenth, two hundred and sixty pounds, um, measured in the bod pod, and then this morning you said two fifty two fifty three point five, right? Mm-hmm. So in like eighteen days, he's down six and a half pounds. Well, how do you feel with the workouts and stuff with the, adding the strength training into the mix? Like, do you, are you enjoying it or? Like... I am. Yeah, physically, I can just feel. I don't want to say myself getting stronger, yeah. but like in some sense, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the other thing is just putting that extra time in, it's just psychologically yeah. feels like more of like I'm really committed yeah. to this. You know? I'm just eating more intentionally. It's yeah. not just, the fr- you know, because it's like if you're not planning what you're going to eat, for me it's yeah. like, okay, it's lunch. What's the first thing that pops into my mind that I want to eat right yeah. now? Okay, I'm just no that. thought into it. No fast, thought. You know? Yeah. I've talked to people before about working with me, and, and, and they've even said, more like, I gotta get in shape before I come work with you, even though that's the total opposite of what I want somebody thinking. Like, I want them, you can work with me right away, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's there's 400 pound people in the gym. Yeah. Just, no, I've definitely been know. that person of like, <laughs> I need to be under 200 pounds and then to, I'll, to show I'll up work off my body. Right. Yeah. Right. Stay in gym class, kids. <laughs> Matt started at 260 pounds, and he's currently about 245, 244. Um, so 15 pounds down in like seven full weeks. What what kind of like changes have you noticed so far? I feel like my posture is a lot better. Yeah. I feel more confident already. These pants that I'm wearing, I'm at the point where I'm, you know, down a few inches in my waist. You hear that? I can ship my pants for free. Wow, I just may ship my pants. Is there any foods that like you've really had to cut down on? Once we got on a point where like my macros were balanced, like whatever mechanism was like causing yeah. me to buy candy two times a day. <laughs> Totally gone. And I think one thing we should note that's different compared to most people's like weight loss journey. We're making the videos for this, so it's probably something that's constantly on his mind. <laughs> you know, he's constantly yeah. Thinking there's about no every, hiding at this every point. day. He's doing s- some work related to this project. If you put a picture up on your Instagram or your Facebook and like a weekly progress photo, like a weekly accountability photo, 
um, I think you're more likely to, to stick through things. You're not going to want to fuck it up if you're putting yourself yeah. out there and saying, yeah, I'm supposed to lose this amount of fat and this amount of time. Gina, a school teacher, agreed that a letter to her principal that reads, I'm a little baby and I love to pee and poo, accompanied by a photo of her giving two middle fingers, would be sufficient incentive for her to drop those pounds. Do you think tracking has been like a helpful thing or like a helpful learning experience? Oh yeah. Like, yeah, I'm a big believer in tracking. And using the food scale a little bit, right? Yeah, absolutely, okay. yeah. I think doing this for three months to a year of tracking and consistently weighing most days of the week will really benefit him in the long run because he'll understand the nutritional content of like a huge variety of foods that in the past, like, did you have any idea like how many grams of carbohydrate are in a half pound of potatoes, you know, or No, anything? nobody <laughs> does. Like for you me, know. I just like, why wouldn't you track yeah. what you eat? Like it's crazy almost that yeah. we don't. I guess the one thing we have is like a little like weight loss, you know, plateau. Yeah, which honestly is something I'm a little nervous about because I've been at this plateau and now yeah. it's like, okay, here comes the first <clears throat> challenge. Yeah. You're gonna go to Philadelphia, you're not gonna have complete 100% independence about what you're eating. Yeah. We already lined up a gym that's close to his, where he's staying. So, you know, I wrote him up some workouts to do at the gym and he's probably gonna be walking a lot. And then nutrition, um, you said you're probably not even gonna be eating out that much anyway, like maybe a yeah, few Yeah, we're a little there. broke, so yeah. we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I wanna lose weight on this trip, we'll see if that's possible. So we've been in Philadelphia for a couple of days and it's going pretty well. Um, nutrition stuff is going well and I'm about to do my first out of town workout on this trip. Today we're going to a Phillies game, uh, my first Phillies game, so that should be fun. So I'm at the Gap store and looking for clothes for the wedding and our dinner. Something that's tough is when you're overweight, nothing like really, it's not really designed to fit you properly, so like, this is an XL shirt, and like it's not designed for like a fat person that needs an XL. It's designed for like someone who's like taller. Just enjoying a little Philadelphia special water ice. I trained this morning so I can eat more carbs today, so I totally have room for it. But just proof that you can achieve your fitness goals while enjoying yourself. And I could not end the trip without having my first authentic Philly cheesesteak. I've been saving up calories for it all week and I'm about to dive in. Oh, 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 oh,
So we got a little four month check in kind of update for you guys with Matt. He just did his bod pod. Um, and again, we did the first bod pod on July 19th. This one we did November 15th, so almost four months. And we started at 260 pounds, and you're right at 232.7 pounds. So total loss for him is 27.3 pounds. His fat-free mass, which could be water, bones, organ tissue, muscle tissue, uh, only went down a pound and a half. That could have been a pound and a half of water. Um, you know, as you decrease in body size, your organs are going to adapt too. His strength has gone way up in the gym, like the weights yeah. we're using, which you know tells me that he's at least hanging on to the muscle that he started with. Uh, his body fat percentage when we started, 39.3, and this bod pod test we had him at 32.7. Nice, nice drop there, and you know just keep it rolling and getting under that 30 marker is, I think that's big, you know. Yeah, this is an interesting point in the journey because we're pretty much at that point where like, I've been here before. Yeah. But this is about where I tap out, you know, this yeah. is about where like it gets boring or where it's like I'm too cranky. Yeah. And then, like eventually I just start turning and I don't feel that sense of fatigue of like, Oh God, yeah. how much longer can I do this? Because the way we're doing it, like... Sustainable almost, Yeah, like, you know? yeah, moment to moment, I'm making tough choices. Yeah. I'm not eating pizza every night and candy yeah. and every night, but as long as I can fit it in my macros, I'm not going crazy. He's down in weight. He's averaging a two pound loss per week. He's feeling better. He's looking better. He's more confident. Clothes are fitting better. We're rolling here. Mm -hmm. I would say we're on a good run. We got this.